Hi guys, uh, we'll be looking at the custom import module of Fedina today. So custom import is an add-on module or also called as a plugin. Custom import is used when you want to enter data in bulk in Fedina. So to use custom import, we'll be going to data and reports and here we have custom import. And here to create a new template, we'll click on new. And we can import data in Fedina in form of a CSV file. So first step is to create a template. So here, for which model do we want to enter data in Fedina in bulk? So we can do for all these available models. For example, when we want to admit employees in bulk in Fedina. So this is the employee admission model. Then we can do the same for student, the guardian information of the students, the attendance records of the students, their exam scores, the library books, items in store in inventory, the supplier details in inventory, and the store data in inventory. So for all these models, we will be able to create templates, fill that in, and feed it back in Fedina. So let me show you how to create a template for a model. So we'll select the model for which we want to enter the data. So let's say it is student admission. Now before starting with custom import, we must have done basic settings for student and employee. So in the settings, we have add admission additional details for the student. So if we have done that, we can check this option and we can select the information that should appear as extra columns in the template that we are creating. For example, with the normal fields of student admission, what all do we want to see? Let's say we also want to store height, weight and allergies for the student. So these additional fields I've already created when I go to administration and here when I go to settings and here add admission additional detail. So these are the fields that I've already created and since I want to take data and store it in the profile of the student, I also want it in the Excel sheet or the CSV file that I'm going to generate. So I'm checking these. And then I can give this template a name. So here I'll be creating by this name and I'll click on save. Once I do that, you can export this template since the template now gets created, it can be exported in the system. So just click on export CSV and it will be saved in your system. And when you open it, this is how the template will look like. So this was the first step, generating a template. So you can see in this template, the headers are admission number, admission date, first name, middle name, last name, and so on. And also, since we have checked additional data, so it is being asked height, weight, and allergies. So here, we need to fill in the rows of this Excel sheet and upload it back in Fedina. Now, there are two important things that must be kept in mind before starting filling in the data. The first thing is that the header should not be changed in this Excel sheet. The second thing is we must not add our own headers or reorder them. If you want to add your own headers, they must be created as additional fields. And while creating this Excel sheet, you can check them the way I have done it here. Then I'll be putting the admission numbers of the student as per how I want them to log in in Fedina. So using the admission number, the students will be able to log in. Then I'll put their admission date. I'll put their first name. I'll put their batch name, their date of birth, their gender, their nationality, and their email. 
so the eight fields or eight columns that i just said about are the mandatory fields in this file so i'll i've already created this template with filled data let me show you that so here i have created the template and entered data in it and this is how the entered data will look like so admission number this is a unique number that is given to each student in fedina so that they can log in in their fedina account admission date you can see the format here it is dd hyphen mm hyphen yyyy the first name of the student the batch name as it appears in fedina so the batches and the courses need to be created before as i said before starting using the student admission and employee admission using custom import major settings must be there so we must have created batches and courses so that i can put this student in a batch date of birth again the format remains dd mm yyyy the gender then the nationality you can see the nationality is india canada italy and it's not italian canadian italian and so on then you can put the email id because this is an again another mandatory field so i have filled in the eight mandatory columns others can also be filled in and they will be appearing in the student profiles now i'll be uploading the sheet in fedina so i'll go here i'll click on import data and here i'll choose the file that i just filled in so this is the file and i'll click on upload it will be a delayed job meaning that it will take around 30 seconds to 1 minute for the students to get reflected in fedina also you can see the status of how many rows failed or how many rows were successfully uploaded to fedina database one more important thing to note for all the templates that you have that you generate Ma minimum the maximum number of rows that are allowed are 200 at a time in that excel sheet so to see the status of this upload we can click on import log details and it'll take some time as i said it'll take 30 seconds to 1 minute to show the data like this so you can see it is showing me all the rows number and whether they are successfully uploaded to database or not so i had 16 rows in all out of which you can see three four rows are there which did not upload so it uploads row by row it shows the success message to be uploaded to database successfully in case the upload is successful otherwise it shows the status to be failed and the reason why it is failed since the admission number in row number 5 so let me just tell you here in row number 5 this admission number user 1 is already there in fedina so it is generating a message similarly for row number 6 and row number 11 here as well and row number 8 it says batch can't be blank but if you see the data here we have entered a batch for row number 6 but if you see this batch does not exist c2a 2014 it's not able to recognize the batch and hence it says the message that batch cannot be leave left as blank so there is no batch called c2a 2014 in my fedina now i'll be making the changes as required and i'll be changing only the rows that have errors or that failed and i'll be uploading the same again using the same link which is this link import data 
So here I repeat again, we'll be changing only the rows that failed as per the log details and we'll be uploading only those rows again. So let me show you a student whose information was successfully stored in Fidina database, user 90. So for this student, I'll be able to search this student by going to academics, students and student details. So here I can search the student. You can see the student is successfully saved in C2A 2015 batch. On clicking on it, I'll be able to see further details here. So as per what we have entered, the details are coming. Now for this student, if I want to add guardian data, either I can do it individually from here by editing this and adding the, adding the guardian or I can also use guardian excel sheet. So again, I'll go to data and reports, custom import, click on new and select the model to be guardian addition. So this is going to give me another template, empty template and I'll have to fill that in. So let me show you a Guardian Edition template that I have. So this is the Guardian Edition template. So it asks for the ward admission number. So that should be the student who is already present in Fidina. Then the Guardian details are entered here. So for a single student, you can add many Guardians and these are the mandatory three mandatory fields for Guardian Edition. So again, you have to create the template, import it, check the log details. In case of any failures, upload only those rows again. So similarly, we have other models also available, employee data. So we can also put employee data in Fidina. And then we have student attendance records. So we can create a template for student attendance and feed it, feed it in like this. So this is the student admission number. The time that he was absent for, forenoon and afternoon. One means that he was absent for that time and the reason, the date and the batch. So this is another kind of template that we can use to enter data. Then we have exam scores of the student. So this will again give us an Excel sheet and we can enter the exam score. For entering exam score, we must have already created exam group for that batch. So we need to give the exam group name. Exam group would mean term 1, term 2, or unit test 1, unit test 2 and so on. As per the exams that you have in a particular semester or a class. Then the subject code for which the marks you are entering, the student number and the remarks if any. So this is for attend, this is for exam scores of the student. We can add library data as well. So the library, additional data for library can also be selected like this. So the title of the book, the author of the book, the number of the book and the barcode. So this is the library model. Then we also have the store item data. And we have the supplier data and the inventory store information. So for all these, we can create templates, fill them and put it in Fidina. We can check the errors if any and change the errors and upload it back. We also have another option of bulk edit here bulk edit. This option is used when you already have data in Fidina but you want to edit some fields against the already put data in Fidina. For example, let's say for this file that I have, all these admission numbers are already in Fidina and I want to change their batch or I want to change their nationality or any other field except their admission number because using the admission number is how Fidina is going to search that particular student details and update the other details. So admission number cannot be changed. 
whereas the rest of the fields can be updated. So I'll use this template. I'll fill the data in the same template which was used for student admission. I'll change the fields that I want to and use this feature of bulk edit which will again ask me to upload the file that I just changed and I'll upload it. Now in this case it will search each admission number and update all the fields against it as per the change fields that you have mentioned in the excel sheet. So this is about using the bulk import. Also for each of the template that you see here there are some mandatory fields. For example for student admission I showed the mandatory field. We can we also have it for employee admission, guardian and all the models that you see. So for each of them we have a PDF document that we have created where also we have mentioned the fields that should be taken care of or that are mandatory. So I'll be putting the link of that PDF in the video description as well. You can have a look at that as well. Also when you are doing custom import there are some primary fields that must not be changed because using those fields Fedina application is going to search that particular profile and update it. So the list of those fields are also there so you can have a look at it. So thanks for watching this video. Be tuned in for more videos.